in this video, we will talk about what an HMI communication fault is and how to remedy this particular error on the ATV61 and 71 drive. So first of all, this particular error is caused when the keypad is losing its communication with the, with, the, with the drive, especially when the drive is looking at the keypad as a means of a command or reference. Now the HMI module, it can be connected directly on the drive as you can see right here, or, or you can use some kind of remote mounting kit with a cable to mount remotely on a door as an example or a panel. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that the actual keypad is not the issue or whether your keypad cable is the issue. Um, so one thing that you can do is you can try to mount your keypad directly in the drive without a cable or remote mounting kit. If that does not fix your issue, you can try another 6171 keypad if you have another one for spare or if you have another one next to this one. All the 6171 keypads can be used on all the 6171 drives, so there is no one keypad for one drive here. Now, um, if for some reason that does not fix your issue still, then uh, you may have other issues within the drive such as the control board or it could be your back keypad like I mentioned but that's some things you can do right off the bat to see if it's truly a uh, keypad or cable or whatever that may be. So, um, like I said, the keypad, this particular fault though normally happens at where the drive is looking at the keypad for some kind of command or reference and if it doesn't see it as a keypad being there then it will fault out. So if you're not using anything of the sort, if the keypad has been removed uh, or if you're not using a cable or or the keypad in general to run the drive with you can always make sure that you're not controlling the drive from your keypad so you can go into your um, drive menu and go into 1.6 command and like I said if you're not using the keypad then there should be really nothing programmed as keypad like for example I have the reference attached to the HMI that's what it's programmed as and I physically removed uh, the keypad on purpose to simulate a fault and now that fault is this HMI com fault which is the SLF3 fault on the top left of your keypad so normally to get rid of this fault let's say uh, your keypad was loose so you took it out without knowing and you put it back you have to power cycle your drive and when it's safe to do so power it back up again and you'll notice that once the keypad is plugged back in, once the drive is able to communicate with your keypad, that particular fault has gone away. But as I mentioned before, if I was to remove the keypad physically and I put it back on, you'll notice that the fault comes, uh, the HMI COM fault comes back again because again, it lost communication with the keypad and as well the driver is looking at the keypad for some kind of command or reference. So this is what you can do to confirm what this fault is on what you can do to uh, remedy it. You can refer to our programming manual for more information and this information is also listed under the video here and it will confirm what other could, things could be going on as well as mentioned before.